Hello everyone, welcome to Success Development. In today's video, we'll be installing the house creating script by Kazar Store into our 5M server. This incredible script lets you build a fully customizable houses with unique models and stunning interiors, allowing you to create the perfect home for your roleplay experience. But that's not all. With this script, you can even design your own private island and establish an exclusive one of a kind residence. Whether you're looking to build a cozy getaway or a luxurious mansion, the possibilities are endless. I'll guide you through the installation process step by step and showcase all the amazing features this script has to offer. If you're looking to enhance your 5M server with the next level housing mechanics, this script is must have. So without any further ado, let's get to the installation process. So this is the script which you are going to install into a 5M server. The script is from Kazar store. I'll provide the tipex store's link in the description below. By clicking over here, you can preview the script. When you purchase the script, use the code ZEXES to get 10% discount. After when you purchase the script, you will receive these two scripts in the granted access section of your key master. You just need to click on download to download them both. Also, don't forget to download the dependency of the script. These two are the dependency of the script. Make sure to download them both. After downloading it you just need to extract the file now open the props file then copy this file from here now come back then open the housing.pack file then open the housing file then paste those file over here now copy the housing folder from here and paste the folder into your 5m resource folder now copy the name of the file then open server.cfg now we have to ensure the file over here just like this now open the housing file go to sql if you are using Cubico framework, then open the QB.SQL. Then click on open. Select your server, then click on run. Now open the images folder. Then copy these images from here and paste it into your inventory folder. In my case, I'll be using Cubicore inventory. For that, I just need to go to QB, Cubicore inventory, HTML, images, and paste your images over here. And click on replace. Now we have to visit the documentation of the housing script. I'll provide the link in the description below. Over here, you just need to click here to extend the file. Then go to inventory items. From here, you can choose according to your inventory. So I'll be choosing the cube inventory. Now copy the set of code from here and paste it into your items.lua. For that, you just need to go to QB, QB code, shared, items.lua. Now come to the very bottom line of the code. Now paste your line of code over here. Just like this. Now press Ctrl Save. Now open the QS housing folder, go to shared, then config.lua. If you want to change the script's language, you can change it from here. In here, if you have your 5 guard script name, then you can write it over here. Otherwise, you can keep it on false. In this section, you can configure your dispatch which you are using by following the steps which are given over here. In this section of code, we can configure the phone script which you are using. From this line of code, you can configure clothing which you are using. And from here, you can configure garage system. If you want to use the target eye system with the script, just change the false to true. Then change the config.society according to your framework. In my case, I'll be using QB management. In here, you have to add the real estate job which you are using. So I just remove the police job from here. In here, if you want to hide the blip of owned house from the map, then keep it on true. Otherwise, you can change it into false. If you want to enable the house sales board, then keep it on true. Otherwise, you can change it into false. From here, you can change the currency style to which you are using. From here, you can configure the keybind which you want to use. The first one is for to customize the house interior and the second one is for to open the house creating menu. In here, you have to add the police job which you are using in your server. And if you want to enable anyone can rob the house, then keep it on true. Otherwise, change it into false. And if you want to enable the police can raid the house, then keep it on true. Otherwise, you can also change it into false. So that's it for the config part. Now open the QSV folder, then go to shared, then open config.lua. In here, you just need to configure police job which you are using in your server. So yes guys, that's it for the installation part. Now let's start the server. So we are in a server now. As you can see, I have the real estate job over here with me. Now let's create a custom house building. For that, press F7 to open the job menu. Then click on create listing. Over here, you have to check on the map placement. Then give the name of the house. So I'll be giving the name of house one. Then give the price of the house. If you want to see the blip of the house in the map, you just need to turn it on. Then give the name of the blip. After that, click on create. Now we have to place the house model. As you can see, there are varieties of house model comes with the script. You can change the house model by arrow keys. So I'll be keeping this house model over here. After selecting the house model, you just need to press enter. After that, we have to declare the area of the house. So I'll be declaring from here. After that, we just need to press enter. Now we have to select the entry point of the house. So I'll be selecting from here. After that, press enter. Now we have to add the house for say bulleted board. So I'll be adding it over here. 
After that, press enter. Now we have to select the interior for the house. As you can see, there are varieties of interior available with the script. You can change the interior with the arrow keys. So I will be selecting this one. After that, click on enter. Now we have to set the exit point. So I'll be setting it over here. Then click on enter. As you can see, our house is ready for sale now. So these are the details comes on the bulletin board as you can see over here. The name of the agent, the phone number and the price of the house. If you want to see the house before purchase, you just need to click on show house. After that, you will enter inside the house as you can see over here. By doing this, you can check out the house from inside. Now let's exit from the house. Now let's purchase the house. For that, use your target on the door, then click on view contract. So this is the contract of the house and the total price of the house is written over here. To purchase the house, you just need to click on accept contract, then click on yes. As you can see, the money got deducted from the bank. Now let's enter the house. Now let's decorate the house. Press F3 open the house menu. With this menu, if you want to rent the house to someone, you can rent it from here. Or if you want to sell the house to the bank or to any player, you can do it from here. So now let's decorate the house. For that, click on decorate house. Now you can find varieties of furniture on this menu. When you click over here, you will get multiple options for the furnitures. So I'll be adding a refrigerator over here. After selecting the object, we just need to click on the object. Then use these arrows to place the object. After placing the furniture to the right position, just click on buy to purchase the furniture. As you can see, these are the furnitures which we just bought. You can decorate the house as you like with your imagination with the help of decoration menu. Now let's get out from the house. Now let's create the private island. For that, open the job menu by pressing F7. Then click on create listing. Now this time we have to check both map placement and create island. Now give the name of the island. Now give the price of the island. After that, click on create. As you can see, this is the first look of our island. Use arrow keys to change the island. For now, I'll be selecting this island. Click on enter. Now we have to place a house on the island. This time I'll be selecting this house. Click on enter. After that, select the area for the house. So I'll be selecting from here. After selecting the area, click on enter. Now we have to set the entry point of the house. Click on enter. So this time I'll be selecting this interior. Then click on enter. After that, set the exit point of the house. So as you can see, our private island has been created over here. Now let's get to the island. The details are available on the billboard. Now let's purchase the house. Click on view contract. After that click on accept contract. Then click on yes. Now let's get inside the house. If you want to add the security alarm, you just need to press over here. After that click on accept. Now let's add security cameras. Now let's get out from the house and add the security camera. Open the F3 menu. Click on decorate house. Then click over here. Then select for the security camera. Now let's place the security camera on the house. Now let's get inside the house. Now let's check the security camera. As you can see over here, we just need to click over here. And we can see everything. What is happening outside our house. As you can see over here, we got the working security camera. Now let's check other camera. We got other camera over here. Now let's create apartment. For that open the job menu. Click on create listing. This time we have to toggle create apartment. If you want to show the blip of the apartment on the map, you just need to toggle this as well. Now give the name of the apartment. Now give the price of the apartment. Now select the number of apartment how much you want. So I'll be selecting 6. Now instead of shell, select IPL. Then instead of for sale, select for rent. Then click on create. Now we have to select the area. After selecting the area, we just need to press enter. Now set the entry point. Now add the bulletin board, enter. Now we have to select the apartment. Use your arrow keys to select the apartment. So I'll be selecting this default one. After that, click on enter. Now let's buy a room from the apartment. Click on show apartment. After that, select a room. So I'll be selecting number one. Then click on rent apartment. After that, click on accept contract. Then click on yes. Now let's get inside the apartment. Okay, here we are in the apartment now. We can also decorate the apartment. Just press F3. 
After that, click on change theme. And these are the themes which you can buy for your apartment. So as you can see, there are varieties of options available here. After selecting the apartment, click on buy. Then click on accept. So as you can see, these are new renovated apartment available over here. So yes, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos related to 5M development. Goodbye.